So what are you guys doing here? Um, what we're doing here today is um, we're from Rutgers uh, Co-op Extension and Water Resources Program um, and we're finishing up the rain garden that we installed here at Nottingham High School in Hamilton um, by installing the plants uh, that will help to uh, take up some of the water that's coming off the roof of the science building here. And what we've done is we've designed this rain garden to help um, reduce some of the rainwater that's coming off the building and also going into the streets and parking lots into local waterways to help clean it up, reduce the amount that's getting in there. So we're reducing flooding and we're reducing some of the pollutant problems that the township is seeing. Okay, uh, but how long is this going to take? Um, how long is what going to take the day to the process, install it? Yeah. The whole process has actually taken about two months to do um, in terms of planning and designing um, because a rain garden is actually an engineered um, best management practice or um, low impact development technique to help reduce um, pollutants in water. Um, so we take our time in designing it and, and making sure we've got the right plants that go in for the area, native plants, um, and then obviously digging it out and then installing it. It takes a couple of months of planning and design work to do. Okay. But for today, we're finishing up by putting the plants in the ground. That's the last step. And then we're all set to go. Okay. So this point goes into the ground. This is supposed to mimic a plant root as it grows through the soil. Okay? So that's why we use this device, because it helps us to see whether or not the plants are going to survive okay in the ground or whether or not it's too compacted for them. And you have to be careful when you push it in the ground, because your tendency is to kind of like, you know, hulk out and sh show off and be like, just push it in the ground. Make sure that when you push it in, it goes in smooth and evenly, and that you maintain it as upright as possible. So you're just going to grab the handle of the device plant, stand. Nice and straight and with Okay. And then just push it down nice and evenly until you hit that 300 mark. Where? On the in who said on the inside? One here. One. Okay. So I get it. Once you get to 300, let it go. Alright? So 300 is kind of the critical level of compaction. Did I grab that one? Maybe want to give her a push in the Mine did not do that. Right, Come on, guys, who's next? Come on. Do you just move anywhere in the rain garden? You don't have to clump up together or give it a try. So just push it. Use one of these like that. Where you want to Cut the wand. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay. <laughs> it ain't moving. Yeah. Okay. That's it, right there. Stop. It, it pops back up. So. Yeah. And so what it's doing is it's measuring the pressure against the soil that you're going down. Yeah. Okay. So what you do is you take this, and what you measure is um, each one of these marks is about three inches. So you're about four and a half inches, five inches deep. So that's good. So if it was below this first line, then it would be bad. Mm -hmm. okay? And what would we do to remedy that? What you can do to come mm -hmm. through the area is um, you can you can you can till it and break like, it, break or it something. up and stuff. Yep. And, it. and one of the things you can do is you can also add a lot more sand because mm -hmm. when you guys were doing the texture, sand is really big particles, even though it looks really tiny. You know, when you see it, and you're like, it's actually really big compared to like the clays and stuff. So that helps to actually spread the particles out. So you guys are all compacted right now. If you spread yourself out by adding sand, then you get more water. Do you want to give me another try now? So the, the, I think there might be a layer of rock or something. That I think so, yeah, handle. I hit it too. So when I was once you hit that and you hit 300, just keep going. Obviously, you don't want to okay, go crazy. Okay, you hit 300. Watch, watch, watch. You hit 300. The idea is not stop. to get, go past Stop, right here, oh. inside. Now take your hand off and it'll go back down. Pull it out. And then it was about the same place. You're supposed to use your finger and bend over and pull it out. So each one of the plants that we have today comes in what's called a quart size. It's just this plastic container. You can see some of the roots grow through the bottom of this container. This is how they come to us. So this one here is a plant called soft rush. It likes to be wet, so it goes where um, the water is most concentrated. It's usually at the out and at the in. You can see the tall plants over there as well, too. Okay, so we're going to put little stakes next to the plants so you know what they are, and there's some fun facts about what the plants do. One of the things is um, rushes are related to grasses, like the turf grass that you guys are standing on, except instead of having blades of grass, they look like straws. They're nice and round and a little bit hollow. So that's what makes them a rush. I'm going to put this guy right here so you know this is here and where they go. So the way to properly put the plants in the ground. This is really important, guys, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to dig a hole. I've got plenty of these little hand shovels for you guys to work with. You can work in pairs. You can work by yourself. Take your time. we got plenty of plants to go around for you guys. So what you want to do is you want to dig a hole roughly about the same size as this plastic container that the plant comes in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pop the plant out of the plastic container. 
Okay. Sometimes you get some roots that grow through the bottom, so it gets a little tough to get the plant off. So you gotta kind of wrestle it off a little bit. You are gonna get a little bit dirty. Okay. So just make sure that all those plastic parts come off the bottom of the plant. No plastic parts left. There's plenty of roots here that you can see, so if you hurt a couple of them, it's okay. All right? But one of the things we've got to make sure of is we don't want these roots to stay in this shape. Okay, so what you have to do, this is the easiest way, is you got to break up these roots. You can either use your fingers to tear them apart a little bit. What I like to use, you take the trowel, you got this little corner piece right here. What you can do is you can take that and kind of break up the roots a little bit. You are not hurting the plant, okay? What this does is it causes the roots to spread out so they don't stay in this square shape. And that's actually healthier for the plants. So this is a key step that you make sure you break off these roots. And all you have to do is just put one slice down each side of that four-sided square piece. So just make sure you do that and then you can kind of pull them apart a little bit. All you got to do is just ensure that these roots aren't going to stay in this shape, okay? You'll dig a hole deep enough that this can fit into. You don't want to bury the plant too deep or too high. Make sure that the soil that you're digging through, make sure you get through this mulch to the soil underneath. That's important too. It's kind of level with this top part of where the soil is on this square piece, okay? Because if you bury this too much, you'll kill the plant. If you expose the roots, you'll kill the plant. So you gotta make sure you're right in the middle, right at this level line, okay? And that's important with all the plants that we're putting in today. Does anybody have any questions? I think we have nine or 10 different species of plants that are going in. How did you get the idea to do this? Um, well, um, Rutgers had installed a rain garden at, at Steiner. And then uh, after that was completed, we uh, were contacted by uh, Rutgers because they wanted to do one here. And plus the, the mayor, Kelly Yeda, wanted it here as well. She was all for it. Okay. And who's in charge of the funding? In the um, Rutgers and Hamilton Township. We get most of, most of our money from Hamilton Township for doing this. Okay. Yeah. Are all your classes participating in this? Uh, my, my, some of my students and some of Mrs. Alston's students. Who also, she also teaches environmental science. There's a mixture of both classes. It's all environmental science students. Okay. Do you think this is going to help the school? It's definitely going to help the school by not only uh, educating about how important clean water is, it also will add beauty to the front of the school, by, especially uh, when the flowers bloom in the spring. We have some asters, which are the purple flowers that are like it more dry, so they're going up on this part. Does anybody remember what this part of the rain garden is called? Berm, yes. It goes up on this part here, and we've got some other ones, um, some gray goldenrod, which is like um, seaside goldenrod, nice yellow pretty flowers, grayish yellow pretty flowers. This is the soft rush that likes the wet part, so they're going at the ends. We've got some swamp milkweed going in the middle over here. That'll help attract some butterflies and some other insects to help pollinate those. So you'll have a nice variety of animals that come to this rain garden as well, too. So I'll provide some habitat for animals that are in this area as well. <laughs> I got one more question. Yeah. So we were lucky in that they had um, Excuse me. Uh, sorry. So it worked out a little bit. Sorry. Alright, sorry. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that.
How do you all into the... Okay, so these roots are about to go. I got roots in my eyes. It's like cutting watermelon. Hell yeah. Do you find this interesting? Yeah, I really do. You enjoy planning? Uh, yes, very much. also show what they'll look like fully grown. Stop looking. You're looking for them. You like this. You like Oh, I see. You like you just straight looking. Trust me, it's funny about you. Yeah. <laughs> 